had five abortions, mm -hmm. five abortions. The last abortion, yeah, the last abortion, I was six months pregnant, almost six months. And um, they sent me to a place in Long Beach. They, they you know, put some stuff in me, sent me back to a hotel room to induce a labor. It was so painful. I went back to this hospital. They told me any fears I was having was wrong. Any what? Any fears or doubts that I, I was having is wrong. Make sure you can yeah, I am. And um, even at the other ones telling me that it's just cells, it's just a blood clot, it's nothing. And I know that I have, unfortunately, I murdered my children. So I'm the person saying, this is wrong. The abortion is wrong. It's just wrong. Do you understand? Now I have no children. I'm so sorry. 44, I have no children. I love the children. You know, I would never hurt anybody, but now I've realized what that was. Yeah. And these doctors, they convinced me that it was okay. Not that it's all their fault, but they convinced me time and time again, it's okay. The first time it was me pushing the baby out. Really? Yes. The next time it was, he take some pills. Just blood clots come out. Nothing. The baby doesn't have a brain. The baby can't feel anything. The baby does have a brain. The baby can feel. The baby has a soul. That's it. Never get over it. You never get over it. I was just talking with my friend the other day. She's had abortions. And she says maybe 99% of the people that she knows never get over it. She agrees with me. That 1% are the ones in denial. That's it. You never get over it. I talk to my mum on the phone, Mother's Day, she has to tell me happy Mother's Day. It hurts my heart. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we would have managed. That's how they did it back in the day. We would have managed, maybe even let the baby have adoption. Yeah. So because it had the right to have a life. Right. And I'm saying this, you know what I mean? Because I did it, I was guilty, I was wrong. But I've learned and I don't want anybody else to have to go through this. It's a, it's a deep wound that I, I can't even explain to you. You just live every day with this. I can't imagine. You know? Yeah. I can't imagine it. 